Greetings, Internet. Today, I thought I'd give you a bit of fun facts about my home at university. Since I'll only be living here for like another month, I figured, why not? I'll tell you a bit about it. So, yeah, let's get to it. Guys, we live on the street, which is separated by the section called the link, which you see right here. And half the street is found north of, then there's a pathway leading to the rest of the college, and the rest of the street is found southbound. And so, in on the street, there are eight houses. We have A house, and then you walk down further and you'll find B house. Then we have D house, and then on the other side we have E house, F house, G house, and H house, like any alphabet. And each house has three floors, a common room, a bathroom, a kitchenette section, and a place to hang out kind of thing. Each house also has their own mural wall, as you have seen, that they decorate each year. So the people living in the house decide on a theme that they want to express and put it on their wall. And so since I live in Sea House, we decided we had to do something pretty spectacular. This is what our wall looked like at the beginning of the year and until about three weeks ago. And honestly, as clever as it is to say Sea House, the sea, I really did not like it very much. And a lot of the other walls were done better last year, in my personal opinion. Though it, I'm, I will give it, it was a clever idea. So when the time came to paint over, I got really excited, and there's four of us, and we all just like took brushes and pretty much attacked the wall, and it took a couple hours, but when we were done, all of the color and all the fishes and everything was gone, and it was just, it was a white mass. And then it was time to actually put on our idea. So, as you can see from these little clips right here, there's a few sketches of what we are going to put on. And basically the idea came from uh, that C is for cookie, and that's good enough for me, you know, Cookie Monster. And we expanded on that saying everyone in the house can submit a character from their favorite childhood TV show in order to be put on the wall, and it would be like a house of childhood. So, our Dawn got a list of things and put a bunch of the characters together and then we all worked hard to sketch them on and we began painting as you can see here and so it was really cool to watch as like all these sketches slowly got filled in and not, it's not perfect yet and there's still a lot to be done but just it was so much fun to see that like you can see even you can identify that there's Ty there there's Pippi Longstocking and Mr. Nelson, Hey Arnold, Bananas in Pajamas Sailor Moon's being done on the far right. Uh, there's Arthur, Ash Ketchum, the Pink Panther, Miss Frizzle. Uh, we have Mr. Beaker. I think it's Mr. And uh, we have um, Batman, George Shrinks, Tom and Jerry. Like, there's just so many different childhood things going to be put in this wall. And when it's done, it's going to be so totally epic. And I will definitely show you guys a picture of all the walls when all the walls are done because I would like to share what the awesome students of this college have been able to put together. And it's just, I'm really glad we were able to do this. Before I go, I want to challenge you guys to guess which character I might have selected to put on this wall. Because that being that I picked is on the wall and so if you can guess, kudos to you and I will reveal the answer the next time we meet. Well. Actually, when the wall is finished and I show you, I will reveal the answer. So, without further ado, toodaloo!